Hi there artists. In this video we're going to be making a yarn ball using a balloon, some string, and some glue. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut a piece of string to at least arm length. The other thing we're going to use is we're going to get a piece of cardboard and we're going to cut a small slit up to about the middle and I'll explain what that's for in a little bit. I'm going to be using paper mache glue so flour, water, and salt but you could also use regular glue like this. Um, just mix it with a little bit of water so it's not quite so sticky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my f my glue or my yarn into my glue and I'm going to run my finger down the end to wipe it off. That way it's wet, but it's not drippy. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be tying a knot around the end of this. So I'm going to put one end over the other and pull that short end through this little loop that I've made and I'm going to pull it tight and I'm doing that twice so one over the other and then pull tight that piece of cardboard that I got was I'm going to slide this in here and the reason for that is that's simply just to help this thing from to cooperate with me a little bit as I'm working so it doesn't roll around on me as much. So that's going to help my balloon stay still when I want it to be still or at least a little bit more. So what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to start to wrap my balloon around my balloon and when I get to an end what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck it under a piece and then I'll get another arm's length piece I'll dip it in my glue again And the smaller the balloon, the quicker you'll be able to do it. But what I'm going to try to do once I tuck that under is I'm going to try to connect these two. So I'm going to loop one over the other, go under, and I'm going to do one over the other again. So I'm trying to connect my two pieces. And you could also just use a really long piece of yarn, longer than arm's length, but I find that that just makes it harder to work with if you do that. Again, when I get to my end, I'm going to tuck it under. And then I'm going to keep doing that until I get it covered. And the more you can cover it, the better off you're going to be, the stronger it's going to hold. So, we'll keep working on this until we get it covered.
one thing that I'm trying to do with mine is to keep overlapping my pieces and I've had some places where mine starts to come loose and so what I'm going to try to do is stretch those back out if I can another one of my strings ready. And this time I'm just going to tuck it under a new spot and tie a loop. I think if I do one more time, I might be good. One thing you're going to want to do, and that I'll show you in a moment, is there's one extra step that is optional, but I think it helps on how to finish up before you're letting it dry. So I'm going to tie this here. So I'll tie again like I was doing before. So, and I'm going to see if I can go around. And I'm going to look for places where it looks like I have small, like I have big gaps. And see if I can make those gaps a little bit smaller. Like there. So by going through them, I can make those places a little bit tighter, a little bit smaller, and it'll hold together better in the end. And then I'm going to tuck that under. All right, so here's how we finish up. So the last thing you're going to want to try to do before you can get this before you set this aside to dry is if you have a bottle of glue. If you don't have a bottle of glue then well you don't have a bottle of glue and you can't do anything about it. But if you do have glue then a suggestion that I have for you 
that I found useful in doing this in the past is I'll try to take my bottle of glue and I'll go around to places where I have intersections of my rope of my yarn and I'll do dots of glue and my main reason for doing that is I find that that helps to make stronger bonds than just the glue soaked string by itself so I'll go around and I'll cover I'll try to cover each of my intersections with a dot of glue and then another thing I like to do with this is I'll use this cardboard and I'll try to hang it up somewhere by that cardboard if I can hang it upside down or just set it on a piece of like a plastic bag and let it dry but I'm gonna roll this over and continue doing my dots and then it's ready to dry happy making